Im Rahmen unseres Projekts Rassismus und Mehrfachdiskriminierungen in Corona-Zeiten haben wir Betroffenen den Raum gegeben, von ihren Erfahrungen zu berichten. Moosen erzählt in diesem Interview von seinen Erlebnissen, die er auf seiner langen Reise aus Iran über Serbien bis nach Berlin gemacht hat. I was almost uh, 16 months in Serbia. It was the uh, second country which I uh, entrance in after Turkey, but I was a short time in Turkey. I said I will never come back to my country because I had too much problem in my country because of discrimination because I didn't want to be Muslim in my country. But no, you cannot do that in, 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 in Muslim country. I don't know, do you know or not, that is, if you do that, they, they are right to kill you. Some other guys who, they was living in one room together, from Afghanistan also. Uh, They, were, they had too much problem with him. Why you change your religion? Uh, they uh, told him uh, that they will do something to his family. One day we was in uh, self-service to because we all was in self-service to eat breakfast, dinner, or lunch. Uh, he was in the line, and they uh, someone come with phone and show him to camera that they find his family and they will do really something to his family. And I, I didn't know what happened. Just I see that he, uh, with some knife, broke his mount from two sides. It was crazy. Why? Because he changed his religion, his discrimination. I also changed my religion when I was in Serbia. From that time, everything was changed. Like, like I do something bad. They look at you with another eyes. They, they, they don't want to talk with you. They don't want even to, to, to go with you, uh, to sit with you in the, same, uh, in the same table to eat. Actually, before I leave the camp, uh, my friend Yasmina uh, Drinyak, she was the director and uh, she was actor, director, singer, everything. She's so active woman. Uh, she uh, maybe 10 or 12 days before, she came to camp to find some actor. And uh, we was meet each other uh, in the camp, first time in the camp. And I leave camp, uh, we go to the rehearsal to, to theater. And I was play that role, like father, and that I was thinking that is maybe some short uh, time for one or two, but that became to be big theater. We was in four or five city in Serbia. It was some comedy uh, theater about some boy who come to Serbia from Afghanistan and go to school. And that was uh, about some boy who go to school in Serbia. And then when I had bad, uh, I was in bad situation. She was, uh, she said uh, to, she said, I can help you. She find me some home. Serbian country, it's good country, good people, but uh, they have also a problem about the economy. And uh, it was not country to stay there. Uh, when we was to Serbia, we tried to pass the border, like uh, every migrant. But Croatia is one of the world's uh, border. On that time, we tried too much, maybe 10 times, to pass the border. Every time police catch us, to go back to Hungary or to 
in Bosnia. But one time when police in uh, Croatia uh, catch us, we was six or seven people. We was, uh, I think, six boy and one girl. I, I think in any border, you cannot beat the migrants. This is rules, I think. But in Croatia, they beat us so bad. And they bring uh, one by one, they bring uh, out from car and I think five or six police with stick, with everything, everything they, they can, they beat us. They beat me with shoes to my face. I go back to Serbia, I go to hospital, I was almost uh, five, six days in the hospital because I was, I, I was in so bad situation. Uh, and after that when I come out, again we try to, because that was our way, we, we know that we must do that, but not never in Croatia anymore. Maybe can I, I can say that is the end of my journey to come to Germany. Yeah, that was uh, also in Germany. Yeah, nice experience, also bad experience. One day I was <clears throat> with my friend, Yasmina. We was... Uh, I don't remember exactly from which uh, urban station we, we, we come out and there was uh, too many young boy, maybe drunk, maybe and they start to say bad words to me. That, that always, I always, uh, many times uh, that happened to me because she is a white girl, she is from Serbia, blonde and I'm little black from some other country and everybody look at us this make you uh, sad sometimes nothing i just heard them and i say we must go but what what can we do that will always happen mostly they when they are drunk and they talking about people with another color they talking about people from with another face you know that is not nice i had so nice feeling because because uh, they don't they don't care that from which country you are or f which color you are or which language you're speaking it was hard uh, to have contact with them because i i didn't know german and they usually didn't uh, know english but it was nice it was nice period yeah i uh, sent some message some uh, uh, comment in some Irani group and they block me they block me for I think they they report me and I was blocked for 24 hours it was some post from religion I think that that group report me and I was blocked for 24 hours. Yeah. I just sent one one comment. My just my idea. Nothing else. I didn't say no bad words. I didn't say uh, nothing directed to someone. Just my idea. I think just Facebook can do that. When you uh, report someone, um, I'm not sure, uh, but I think from Facebook they report me. They block me. I already had some interview and I shared that in Instagram and in Facebook and I get too much bad message from people from my country uh, and I had no any way just delete Instagram 
because I was afraid they was in Iran because of my family. They live in Iran. And usually people in Iran, they don't use too much Facebook because Facebook is a filter. Yeah, in Iran Facebook is filter, but uh, Instagram is not, and all comments come in Instagram. I just feel that you cannot put on their mind what they don't want to understand. It's too hard, even if you talk one hour with them. Our plan is to make maybe some workshop for uh, Afghani guys, for Afghani children from, who come from Afghanistan because now uh, too much uh, people come to Germany after that what happened in Afghanistan, Taliban and, and also uh, the Serbian uh, child who is a uh, long time who born here but they don't know them language, they just know German language. We, uh, we have plan uh, for that or maybe some uh, cultural center uh, or some workshop. We will do that for sure, but we need little help. We have to try. Just one person is enough for me if I can change one, one person, his mind, about racism.